Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Canada PR. We wish you are doing great. Do you know Canada's foreign student visa situation is still problematic? In today's video, we will examine how Canada's lengthy visa processing times may be a sign of deeper issues. So to get all the information, pay attention and watch the video through to the end. Please hit the like, subscribe and don't forget to push the notification bell for upcoming episodes. So without any further delay, let's jump into the video. According to University Worries, uh, Canada's failure to approve student visa for foreign students in time for four classes is risking a crucial pathway for possible new immigrants and the latest analysis by a private group underscores the importance of international students to Canada's immigration policies and labour market demands, indicating that Canada's classroom to legal uh, immigration process is in desperate need of an immediate rescheduling. Well, Canada has benefited from border restrictions brought on by the epidemic in its rival nations and from political situations viewed as unfavorable uh, to immigration. This policy encourages students to hunt for jobs and become permanent citizens following their education. Now, according to Institutions Canada President Paul Davidson, Canada's rival nations are changing their rules to attract our top talents to their universities and postgraduate work programs. According to Mr. Davidson, the restrictions imposed by the pandemic that stopped the flow of international students to Australia have been raised. He also noted that the UK is overcoming its Brexit-related problems with postgraduate work policies that are similar to Canada's. The Trump-era policies that restricted immigration to the United States have been replaced with initiatives that focus on keeping global talent. Canada must not keep students awaiting while they obtain their study permits. He also said that the colleges had done a great job of promoting themselves, getting students to register online. And if they were unable to do so, they would attempt to transport the students there. The third or fourth flow where Canada has not been able to satisfy the requirement for visa processing is a problem not just for colleges. CN Fraser, despite acknowledging that some students would have to wait a long time for the Canadian government, the Minister of Immigration said that his agency had given processing of overseas study permits priority. According to the IRCC, a large portion of the issue is that there are thousands of students who are in the same situation. The administration said that it had received 360,000 applications by the end of July, up from 36,000 at the same time last year, and that it expected to receive 104,000 by the end of August. While funding from provincial government has stayed constant over the past 10 years, the rise in the number of international students has provided the Canadian post-secondary system with $6 billion in tuition alone annually. Now, according to Statistics Canada, the percentage of university income that comes from tuition accelerated from 21.5 to 28.8, while the percentage from provincial grants decreased from 41.5 to 32.5 most of the time. For instance, according to the University of British Columbia's budget papers for 2022, overseas fees generated more than $545 million in revenue between 2020 and 2021. Now, according to a 2021 report from Ontario's Auditor General, uh, well, uh, in Ontario's college system, international students make up around 30% of the students and generate 68% of the tuition income, as opposed to $375 million from local students, according to a 2021 report from the Auditor General of Ontario. Canada, according to the study, must change its policies uh, to maintain its leadership as the competition to attract talent around the world intensifies. Because of the country's present dearth of a healthcare professionals, Canada should be more strategic in growing its overseas uh, student population. More than 1,57,000 former overseas students moved to permanent residence status in 2021, a sign of the greater importance of foreign education to Canada's immigration preparation. Immigrants with Canadian work and study backgrounds can fare nicely economically with an average wage of more than $44,000 per year among those employed in the STEM threads and abilities required for the new sustainable economy. 
Overseas students are more likely to have studied engineering and are 2.5 times more likely to have taken math or science than domestic students, according to the survey, but a growing number of international students are opting to get college credentials. The study makes seven recommendations, one of which is that Canada should emphasize granting permanent residency to more overseas students who have a background in STEM healthcare and feel committed to the move to green energy. Additionally, it recommends making additional work-study program accessible to overseas students to aid their transition into the Canadian labor market. Well, uh, this is for today. Thanks for watching the entire episode. See you then in the next episode. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.